What's up? I'm gonna build a little air pressure test to test out this jet ski engine. Um, so basically I have to pump a little bit of pressure into the engine and see if it will hold pressure. So I got these all at Home Depot. This is just a uh, little gauge, goes up to 15 pounds. I'm gonna try to put, I think, five pounds of pressure in there. Um, so it has this little, basically like a compressor, bike pump type of a thing. That's it right there. Test gauge. Um, it was all back in like the natural gas and uh, that kind of section. It wasn't in the air compressor section. And then you had this uh, this bushing right here. So it's a three fourth to one half right there. And then another bushing, one half to one fourth. And then has the last is the adapter so I can hook a hose up to the engine. So what I'm gonna do is wrap these in the Tyvek tape, put that in there. Then this one goes in there. And then this one will go inside there. And that way I can go from like a bike pump or a little um, air pressure all the way down to one of my hoses, so. Okay, so there that is, uh, all put together. And this was about 10 bucks, this was I think eight, seven, five. So all together, somewhere around like 25 bucks for a nice um, Schrader valve to a hose valve right there. So I'm gonna give it a try here, I'll let you know if it holds. I'm gonna test it first on just a tube with like a bolt in it, just to make sure that it's actually holding pressure then I can test it on the engine. All right, so now I'm gonna test my gauge and just make sure that all of this is holding and not leaking. So I basically, I just have it hooked up to this cheap little Air Pro from Walmart, it's a few bucks. So I have it hose clamped on this side right here, and I'm just gonna stick a little punching that into the hose and we'll just uh, pump it up to like five we'll see if it will stay there I'll wait a few minutes and see if it will stay right at five all right it's been 10 minutes and it's still holding right there at the five pounds so I think it's safe to say that this is not leaking we're not getting any leaks there or a leak here so I can try it on the engine and know that if it is leaking it's the engine not this. All right, so I've got this little gauge. I got it going into one of these little ports right here. Got the other one blocked off on this side. I have these expansion plugs going in all the carburetor holes and one going over here. And I got this thing blocked off. So now I'm just gonna add some pressure here and see if it will hold it. See if it'll hold it and it looks like it's losing pressure dang it that means I gotta look over this guy see if I can find some bubbles spray some soapy water on it and see if I can get some find that leak all right but that is how you build your own air pressure with a gauge to test to see if you got a leaky engine for like 25 bucks from Home Depot Hear it coming in right through there in this little gap. It's not through here, I checked all of this. No bubbles, it's all down in there.